it shows that there have been 767 cases of inflammation of the heart, a condition which is almost unheard of in medicine on a normal day-to-day -day basis. It shows that there have been some 35,000 reports of menstrual disorder, and there are all sorts of other um, effects which are set out in the comprehensive report. But it also, I think very worryingly, says that there are 1,632 reports of deaths having taken place shortly after vaccination. And I think if we're building, trying to build vaccine confidence, we need to actually ensure that we're open to the, 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 with the public about the facts. And that's why I was very disappointed when I asked the Secretary of State on the 7th of July um, if he, what, is, what information his department holds on the number of deaths that have been reported of people who have died within one month, two months and three months of having received a COVID-19 vaccination since the 1st of January. And uh, uh, yes, but perhaps it would be more convenient if I actually read out the answer uh, that the, um, we received from the, the minister. And he said, data on the number of deaths reported of people who have died within one, two and three months of having received the COVID-19 vaccination since the 1st of January is not available in the format requested. Public Health England monitors the number of people who have been admitted to hospital and died from COVID-19 who have received one or two doses of the vaccine and will publish this data in due course. That data has not yet been published. And I think it's very important that we are able to put this issue into context because there's a lot more damage being done to our citizens as a result of COVID-19 vaccinations than in any other vaccination programme in history.